Good morning, I'm Lori Pounder, your host for Moms Every Day. This morning we have Dr. Molly Gonzalez with Molly Gonzalez Dentistry for Children. Good morning. Good morning. So today we have great news. We are talking mm -hmm. about an alternative procedure or option for filling so little kids don't have to go through that process. Can you tell me about that? It's a great product. It's actually the first medication and only medication that dentistry has to treat cavities. So it's a wonderful alternative to drilling, filling shots because it's fast, easy, effective, and it doesn't hurt. Um, it has to be applied professionally and initially a few times and then at least twice a year of reapplications um, to keep that cavity stopped. Okay, is this a new product? It really isn't. It's been around for decades. There's a lot of research on it, but it's been slow to come to the market and really slow for, for professionals mm -hmm. to embrace because it's such a change. And I was really proud of my American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry in embracing it and actually making us question, why not actually offer this to our children before the fillings? Mm -hmm. Is it recommended to be used on permanent teeth as well as baby teeth? It can, it can be used anywhere. Uh, the problem again though is permanent teeth are for life and primary teeth are shed by age 12. So that being said, primary teeth are wonderful, or baby teeth are wonderful to treat with this. Um, and like I said, most teeth are amiable to it and 90% of the time it's an effective treatment to stop the cavities and keep them stopped. Permanent teeth, eventually uh, restoration, a traditional dentistry mm -hmm. may be the um, best way in the long term to go. What would be some limitations of the silver diamine fluoride? The silver diamine fluoride does have limitations, so it's not a magic bullet, cure-all, be-all. Um, however, the biggest one is just a cosmetic, and that is it stains the cavity, just the unhealthy portion of the tooth, a black stain. And then over that, sometimes applications of a more protective restoration can be applied to make it a little bit more cosmetically pleasing, um, but that's probably the biggest downside. Second would be any allergy to the product, an abscess, or painful tooth would not be, you know, obviously um, an applicant mm -hmm. for this type of medication. Uh, it would need other more traditional restorations and or um, other traditional uh, dentistry. And so reapplication is also one of the limitations. How often does it need to be re reapplied again? You know, initially multiple times and then at least twice a year. Okay. So I know that talking with you, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes little kids, they have to even go through deep anesthesia to exactly. get these fillings done. So this is really incredible information it, and it's amazing. exciting for moms and kids. So it thank is. you for sharing that. We really appreciate and it. And me, another pediatric <laughs> dentist as well. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. For more information, go to Fox 28 Spokane and look for your Moms Everyday tab.